तेलंगण प्रभुत्म निर्वहिस्टी टीचर एलजिबिटी टेस्ट उपाध्याय अर्हत परीक्ष टेट पीवड़ी परीक्ष कोसम टीसैट प्रतिष्ठात्मक निर्वहिस्ट शिक्षण तरगत को मी अंदर की मा साधारपूर्वक आह्वान पेपर वन मन को गणित मुफ मार केटाइंपड़ा इंदो इन मारकल कंटंट की आर मारकल पेडगाजी की कटाइपड़ा गणित कंटंट फ्राक्षन अनेंश सुमार मूड़ लेदा नाग प्रश्न फ्राक्षन अटे भिन्ना वे अवकाश अंदे अंशा जाग्रत प्राक्टिस नागू लेदा मूड मारकल सुलभंग झान्स उ फ्राक्षन चूसर एदना यापल तीस आन ऐपल मन हॉल का कंसडर् चेयर अदे यापल नी नागुन भागा भागा वन बै फोर का चूचिस्त दी मन फ्राक्षन अटा वट इज़ ए फ्राक्षन फ्राक्षन आर् नंबर्स रिप्रजेंटिंग ए पार्ट आफ् दि हॉल वे वी डिवेड एन आबजेक्ट आर् ग्रूप आफ् दम into equal parts then each individual part is referred to as a fraction we usually write down fractions as 1 by 2 6 by 12 and so on moreover it divides into a numerator and a denominator edaina oka poorna bhagani when you divide a whole into three equal parts then each part is said to be 1 by 3 here one is called numerator and 3 is called denominator and the whole is 1 by 3 is called a fraction in a fraction there are two simple possibilities the numerator is smaller than denominator the numerator is bigger than denominator maybe you have a doubt if the numerator and denominator both are same if both are same then what will happen it becomes as a whole correct as for the last trichotomy we have three probabilities one is between two numbers x and y for example either x equal to y or x greater than y or x less than y correct so when x equal to y then it becomes as a whole number but when there is a possibility other possibilities x greater than y or x less than y i am saying the same the numerator is smaller than the denominator or the numerator is bigger than the uh, denominator okay so depends upon this we can classify the total fractions as two kinds one is a, a proper fraction another one is improper fraction when the numerator is smaller than the denominator it's a proper fraction example 2 by 3 5 by 7 1 by 4 and so on see the denominator is more than the numerator or numerator is less than the denominator another kind improper fraction when the numerator is uh, larger than the denominator it's an improper fraction example 3 by 2 7 by 5 4 by 3 etc correct okay these are the two kinds of fractions okay so we have some more fractions you as you know that that's called like fractions like fractions are the fractions with the same denominator so 1 by 2 12 3 by 12 7 by 12 and 9 by 12 are the like fractions since like fractions have a, a common denominator denominators are same then simply we call it as like fractions okay so is it clear so 1 by 12 3 by 12 7 by 12 9 by 12 here the denominators are same correct haralu samananga unnay ankonde vatini like fractions ani antam correct okay so second one is unlike fractions unlike fractions are the different denominators so 1 by 5 5 by 8 and 9 by 12 are unlike fractions clear one more as equivalent fractions the fractions represent the same part of whole see here the whole is divided into two equal parts so this part the shaded part is 1 by 2 here the whole is divided into four equal parts out of four two were shaded so it is 2 by 4 but when you overlap to each other these two exactly overlap to each other ఈ రెండు కూడా ఒకదానికి ఒకటి అధ్యారోహణం చెందుతాయి ఒకదానికి ఒకటి కలిసిపోతాయి కరెక్ట్ అంటే ఈ రెండు కూడా ఒకే రకమైనటువంటి షేడ్ పాత్ 
ప్రాంతాన్ని తెలియజేస్తే అందుచేత ఈ రెండు ఈక్వల్ అని చెప్పొచ్చు దట్ ఈస్ వన్ బై టూ అండ్ టూ బై ఫోర్ ఒక హియో ఈ డివైడ్స్ ఇన్ టు సిక్స్ ఈక్వల్ పార్ట్స్ త్రీ ఆర్ షేడెడ్ సో వెన్ త్రీ ఆర్ షేడెడ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ సిక్స్ వీ కెన్ రిప్రజెంట్ యాజ్ త్రీ బై సిక్స్ సో వన్ బై టూ టూ బై ఫోర్ త్రీ బై సిక్స్ ఆల్ దీస్ త్రీ ఆర్ ఈక్వాలెంట్ ఫ్రాక్షన్స్ సో వీ కెన్ రిప్రజెంట్ ఎ ఫ్రాక్షన్ అనే నెంబర్ లైన్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఎ నెంబర్ లైన్ యాజ్ యూ నో దట్ యూ కెన్ రిప్రజెంట్ ఎనీ ఇంటిజర్ అనే నెంబర్ లైన్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు రిప్రజెంట్ ఏ ఫ్రాక్షన్ లైక్ ఫార్టీ త్రీ బై ఫైవ్ ఆ నెంబర్ లైన్ హౌ యూఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డూ ఇట్ లెట్ అస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద రిప్రజెంటేషన్ విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ ఎ సింపుల్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ రిప్రజెంట్ ఫార్టీ త్రీ బై ఫైవ్ ఆన్ ద నెంబర్ లైన్ ఫస్ట్ కన్వర్ట్ ఫార్టీ త్రీ బై ఫైవ్ ఇన్ టు మిక్స్డ్ ఫ్రాక్షన్ మిక్స్డ్ ఫ్రాక్షన్ మీన్స్ ఎంటిజర్ అండ్ ఎ ప్రోపర్ ఫ్రాక్షన్ సో ఫార్టీ త్రీ బై ఫైవ్ అండ్ యూ డివైడ్ ఫార్టీ త్రీ విత్ ఫైవ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎయిట్ అండ్ త్రీ బై ఫైవ్ so 3 by 5 is an proper fraction 8 is an integer so 8 and 3 by 5 is a mixed fraction which is equal to 43 by 5 so we can start from 8 divide the section between 8 and 9 into 5 equal parts okay and the third point as shown in the figure is the first one this is if you want 8 and 1 by 5 8 and 2 by 5 8 and 3 by 5 8 and 4 by 5 finally it is 9 so 8 and 3 by 5 that is 43 by 5 so in this manner you can represent 43 by 5 in on a number line clear okay so now so you have an idea about uh, the fractions simply a fraction is a part of whole and there is a proper fraction improper fraction mixed fraction like fractions unlike fractions so this is the basic idea about the fractions now we will practice few questions which are given in the tet examination in the previous test tet examinations we will check it the fraction represented a shaded part how you are going to do so here the total circle divided into how many parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 correct so here out of six parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 out of six parts one is shaded correct one is shared so when one is shared then how you are going to say the fraction here so simply it is 1 by 6 it is 1 by 6 correct okay what fraction of 1 rupee is 50 paise what fraction so means here what is 1 rupee equal to how many paise 100 paise so out of 100 paise what is the 50 paise means 50 paise by 100 paise so 51 is a 52 is a 1 by 2 is the answer correct which of the following is a proper fraction so what is a proper fraction a proper fraction is when the numerator is smaller than the denominator it is a proper fraction correct okay so among this 1 by 2 5 by 4 3 by 2 9 by 2 among these four options here 1 is less than 2 means numerator is smaller than the denominator but remaining 3 are numerators are more than denominators. So, which is the correct option? 1 by 2, which is a proper fraction. Option A is correct. Like you have to choose the right option among the given options in the examination. So, now we will go to the next question. Which of the following is an improper fraction? Improper fraction that is when the numerator is larger than the denominator, it is an improper fraction. Lavamu haramu kante eku unte abinani. అపక్రమ భిన్నము అంటారు ఇప్పుడు ఇచ్చిన దాంట్లో మనకు అపక్రమ భిన్నం ఏంటి అనేది గుర్తుపట్టాలి ఓకే సో విచ్ ఆర్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఈజ్ అన్ ఇంప్రోపర్ ఫ్రాక్షన్ దట్ ఈస్ టూ బై త్రీ త్రీ బై ఫోర్ ఫోర్ బై ఫైవ్ ఫైవ్ బై ఫోర్ సో ఆప్షన్ ఏ ఆప్షన్ బి ఆప్షన్ సి అని అబ్జర్వ్ దీస్ త్రీ సో ద న్యూమరేటర్ ఈజ్ స్మాలర్ దాన్ ద డినామినేటర్ బట్ ఆప్షన్ డి ద న్యూమరేటర్ ఈజ్ లార్జర్ దాన్ ద డినామినేటర్ యాజ్ పర్ ద డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఇంప్రోపర్ ఫ్రాక్షన్ ద న్యూమరేటర్ షుడ్ బి మోర్ దాన్ the denominator that is a 5 by 4 is a correct option correct so 5 by 4 is a improper fraction okay now we will see another express 5 by 2 as a mixed fraction so 5 by 2 so when you divide uh, uh, with 5 with 2 so uh, you can say as we have two whole parts and a fraction 1 by 2 so we can say as 2 and 1 by 2 clear so what is a mixed fraction mixed fraction is a combination of whole and a part an improper fraction can be expressed as a mixed fraction by dividing the numerator by the denominator and obtain the quotient 
and the remainder. So, here phi by 2 is an improper fraction we divide the numerator phi with the denominator then we have the whole part is 2 and the fraction part is 1 by 2. So, 2 and 1 by 2 is the mixed fraction which is equivalent to the phi by 2. So, option B is correct like you have to check and find the answer. Okay. Express the mixed fraction 2 and 3 by 4 as an improper fraction. The previous question is improper fraction is converted into mixed fraction. This question is the improper fraction, mixed fraction is converted into improper fraction. Misrama binna ni manam apakrama binna unga marusthana. Yala marusthana vente reminder ni manam quotient to multiply chesi. Then ki manam chesi net vente dhani reminder kati iskunaru. A quotient iskunaru dhani 3 add child. 2 4 za 8 plus 3 11. 11 by 4. So, you have to multiply 2 with 4 that is 2 4 za 8 and add 3 plus 3 means 8. 8 plus 3 11 which is 11 by 4. So, option A is correct. In this manner, you have to convert a mixed fraction into improper fraction. Okay. Now, the simplest form. What is simplest form? So, a fraction is said to be the simplest or lowest form if its numerator and denominator have no common factor except when lava haral ki vokati tappa vere ummadi karnankam lekapote danini a binnam yakka sokshma roopamu antar. Ante manku ichchina tundi binnani sokshma roopamu rayali kanistha roopamu rayali anu kundte manam vat ni inchi yalante common factor a minu antar vat ni cancel chesi. So, a runet ki vere vokati tappa vere common factor lekka na chesite a binnani manu a ichchina binnam yakka kanistha roopamu antar. Clear? So, the simplest form of 45 by 20 means here 45 and 20 you observe that 45 and 20 both are in 5 table, 5 nines are 5 fours are. So, we can cancel common factor as 5, 5 nines are that is 9 will be remains here, correct? 5 nines are. You can say it is here when you see observe it. So, this 45 by 20, you can write it as 40 by 20 as 5 nines are, 5 fours are, 5 5 get cancelled which is equal to 9 by 4. So, 9 by 4 is a correct answer. In this manner, you can identify the, the simplest form of the given one. Okay. Which of the following pairs of fractions are equivalent? So, what is equivalent here? After simplification, when you see that the both are equal, such fractions are equivalent fractions. Already I, I shown as in the pictorial form. So, these 1 by 2, 2 by 4, 3 by 6, when you see that so, these are the equivalent fractions of course, here 1 by 2, 2 by 4 already given, 1 by 3, 3 by 7, 3 by 7 is the simplest form of the given fraction. So, 1 by 3 is not equal to 3 by 7, if 2 by 5 is not equal to 4 by 9 and 4 by 7 is not equal to 8 by 13. Hence, 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4 which are going to be considered as an equivalent fractions. Is it clear? Okay. Now, we will see. Devarsh bought 2 and half kilograms of potatoes, whereas Srinu bought 1 and half kilograms of potatoes. Find the total amount of potatoes purchased by the Devarsh and Srinu both. Devarsh rundunar kilo la bangal dupal kunnadu, alu kunnadu, alage Srinu kuda 1 and half kilos alu kunnadu. Matam Devarsh and Srinu kunna 20, matam alu yaka weight and than adhyar. And in chal you have to add 2 and half and 1 and half, 2 and half, 1 and half. So, what you have to do? First, you have to add, first you have to add the whole part that is 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3, correct? And you have to add fractional part 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. What is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 1. What is 3 plus 1? 3 plus 1 is 4. So, what is the total answer? 4. Is it clear? So, 4 kilograms is the answer I have shown it here. A teacher finished three fourth of his course. How much course is left? So you have to consider the whole as one, and you have to subtract three by four from the whole. Means you can say the answer is one by four. If you have any doubt, you can say it as uh, like one minus three by four. So we can write as one by one. Correct. So LCM is four. It is four ones are four minus three, which is one by. So, like also you can say as 1 by 4, 
So, otherwise you can say 1 is divided into 4 parts, each part is 1 by 4, out of 4 parts, 3 parts are finished. So, how many parts remain? Only 1. So, that will be represented as 1 by 4. In this manner also, by like a mental mathematics also, you can calculate the answer. Suresh read 5 sixth part of a book, Preeti read 1 sixth part of the book, what more part was read by Suresh. Okay. So, here 5 by 6 is an improper fraction, 1 by 6 is a proper fraction, it is very clear 5 by 6 is more than 1 by 6. What you have to do? Simply subtract 1 by 6 from the 5 by 6, 5 by 6 minus 1 by 6, you know that that is 4 by 6, 4 by 6 you can say the simplest form, you can say 4 by 6 as 2 to the to 3 is a which is going to be considered as 2 by 3. So, 2 by 3 is a answer. In this manner, you can say the fraction. Okay. So, next question 5 and 1 by 5 plus 4 and 1 by 2 plus 4 and 1 by 3, you have to do. So, for all the participants, we are going to see this uh, till uh, this program. Just I will give a small idea to for fractions means uh, when you are going to add the mixed fractions, you have to simply add the whole part first. So, here 5 and 1 by 5 plus 4 and 1 by 2 plus 4 and 1 by 3. So, you have to add whole parts means 5 plus 4 plus 4 which is equal 5 plus 4 is 13, 9 plus 4 13 that is, is given. So, next 1 by 5 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 that is the LCM is 30. So, 5 6 is 2, 15 is 21 correct, 3 10 is 21 plus 10, 31. So, 13 plus 31 by 10, correct. So, we can say as this is 13 plus 1 and 1 by 30. So, simply you can say is 14 and 1 by 30 is the correct answer. Is it clear? Okay. So, here 31 by 30 is improper fraction. When you divide 31 with 30, here the quotient is 1. So, 1 and uh, 1 is a reminder, say 1 by 30, divisor is 31 and, and 1 by 30. So, again you have to add the integer part, means whole part 13 plus 1, 14 plus 1 by 30 or you can say 14 and 1 by 30 as option D is correct. Okay. Now, coming to the next one. So, in a class, 3 fourth of the students do not know either English or Hindi, but 1 sixth of the students knows English. How much students know both English and Hindi, if students who know Hindi are one eighth of the total students. So, is it clear? So, what is the given information here? Three fourth do not know English or Hindi. So, one fourth because the when you divide the whole into four equal parts, so out of three, so out of four, three do not know English means only one part does not know that means no set. So, one by fourth know English or Hindi are both correct. Okay. One sixth knows English and one eighth know Hindi. So, what you have to do? You have to subtract one sixth and one eighth from the one fourth means one by four minus one by six minus one by eight, you will get minus one by four. So, option is one by twenty four, which is a uh, option A is correct. We get a negative because of double count. You count so that is a major reason to get. So, option a 1 by 4 24 is the correct answer. So, like some conceptual based questions also they will ask it. So, you have to prepare it properly. Which of the following is a descending order? So, here unlike fractions are given 5 by 8, 9 by 13, 11 by 17, 5 by 8, 11 by 17, 9 by 13, 9 by 13, 11 by 17, 5 by 8, 11 by 17, 9 by 13, 5 by 8 are given. So, here I will give a small clue for two. Uh, writing the given fraction either ascending or descending order or you want to identify which fraction is more means here. When you take two fractions a by b and c by d, when you take two fractions a by b and c by d. So, just take a cross multiplication that is a d and b c. If a d is more than b c, a d is more than b c, then simply you can say a by b is greater than C by D. If A D is less than B C, you can say A by B is less than C D. It is a very, very important. So, you have to take a cross multiplication here. So, A D 
and B C you have to calculate when A D greater than B C then A by B is greater than C by D. When A D is less than B C we can say A by B is less than C D. Of course, if A D is equal to B C simply you can say a by b is equal to c by d. I am going to use the same concept here. So, first let us compare the wells 5 by 8, 9 by 13 and ok. So, first I am going to the 5 by 8, 9 by 13, 11 by 17. So, first I am com comparing with 5 by 8 and 9 by 13, 5, 13 is 65, 9, 8 is 72, 65 is less than 72. Obviously, you can say 5 by 8 is less than 9 by 13. Is it clear? Okay. Now, I am going to next 5 by 8 and 11 by 17, 5 into 17 that is 85, 8 into 11 88, 85 is less than 88. So, 5 by 8 is less than 11 by 17. So, here 5 by 8 is 9 by less than 9 by 13, 5 by 8 is less than 11 by 17. From these two A is less than B, B is less than C uh, like if you say A is less than B and A is less than C. So, obviously, you can say A is less than both B and C. So, simply A is the smallest among the means uh, here 5 by 8 is the smaller one. Now, we have to check 9 by 13 and 11 by 17. We have to take Rassmann to get 17 and 9 uh, What is 17 9s? Uh, 153 and 13 11s. Uh, it is 13 11s uh, is 143 means 153 is more than 143 means 9 by 13 is more than 11 by 17. So, now we can say 9 by 13 is more than 11 by 17 is more than 5 by 18. So, this is the order. So, first should come 9 by 13 then so is in descending order now. So, first 9 by 13 next 11 by 7 last 5 by 8. So, option C is the correct one. Is it clear? Okay. This is very very important 2 into some missing one is given 2 into some missing one is given that minus 6 which is equal to 676 by 26 what will come in place of question mark. So, what you have to do 2 into minus 6 676 by 26 as you know it 26 26 is a 676 obviously 26 1 is a 26 6 is a 26 is a so means 2 into uh, the missing one minus 6 is 26. So, the missing one keep here missing one here and send to 2 to other side here minus 6 to other first. So, minus 26 minus of minus plus means uh, 26 plus 6 is 32, 2 of missing number is 32, 32 by 2 means uh, simply you can say 32 by 2 which is equal to 16. So, 16 is the answer in this manner you can find the missing number 8 and 1 by 6 plus 5 and 1 by 8 plus 4 and 2 by 3 then how you are going to do already I said. So, we have to first add the integers part whole, whole parts 8 plus 5 plus 4 which is 70 then you have to add 1 by 6 plus 1 by 8 1 by 13 1 by 3. So, the LCM of 6, 8 and 3 is 24, 6, 4 is a, so 4 comes, 8, 3 is a, so 3 comes here, 3, 8 is a, 8, 2 is a 16, 4 plus 3 plus 16 which is equal to 23, so 17 and 23 by 24 is the answer. In this manner, you can add the mixture fractions, clear, ok. Now, we will see the next one. An integer is 10 more than its one third part. What is the integer? We does not know integer now. What you have to do? Say the integer is m as your x. You can say x also. So, uh, if so I am practicing x, you can take x, but other, I have taken m here. So, m that is an integer and one third of the number means m by 3, m minus m by 3 is given 10. So, you can say simply m by 1 minus m by 3 is equal to 10, correct? 3 is a LCM. So, it is 3 m minus m is equal to 10 or 2 m by 3 is equal to 10 or m is equal to 10 into 3 by 2 to 1 is a 2 5 is a 3 5 is a 15. So, 15 is the answer in this manner you can calculate. So, uh, especially for mathematics you have to understand what is given and you have to understand what is required that is a very very important. Once you understand the question you can get the answer a very simple 
manner. Okay. Now, we will check the another question here. The list of the following 0 0.2, 0 0.2 whole square and 0 0.2 and next to the last one is uh, uh, 1 divided by 0 0.2 here. The first one is 0 0.2, 0 0.2 okay. and 0 0.2 whole square you have to multiply 0 0.2 with 0 0.2, 2 to the 4 after decimal how many points here, 2 you have to consider the further reason you have to say 0 0.04. So, the first number is 0 0.2, the second number is 0 0.04. Okay. Now, coming to the next one, 0 0.2 bar, actually here the bar was missed, so I am writing 0 0.2 bar. So, it is 0 0.2 bar, what is a 0 0.2 bar means here, it is a recurring fraction. What is 0 0.2 bar? You can say 0 0.2 bar as given here 0 0.2222 and so on. 0 0.2 bar you can say it is 0 0.222 and so on. You can write this one as 2 by 9, correct? 2 by 9. So, may, so this is a, a conversion of a mixed fraction, sorry, a conversion of a recurring fraction into p by q form. So, under the bar how many digits are there you have to write same number of 9s as a denominator. So, when you divide 2 by 9 you will get 0 0.2222 correct. So, and so for that reason so you can write this answer as 0 0.22 and so on. Okay, now, coming to the, the last one is what is the last one 1 by 0 0.2 1 divided by 0 0.2 or 1 by 2 by 10 or you can write as 10 by 2 which is equal to 5 means the fourth one is 5. So, here uh, option A is 0 0.2, option uh, uh, option A is 0 0.04, option B is 0 0.2, option C is which is uh, 0 0.2 bar actually that is uh, 2 by 9 which is 0 0.22 and uh, option D is 5. Among all this which is the smallest one 0 0.04, 0 0.04 means here simply option A is a correct one. The value of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5. So, actually this is a good collection for you. Uh, already I uh, collected the total TET papers of various states and uh, including our Telangana and Andhra also. I collected all these and I am giving like a well organized questions to you. So, if you practice all these questions definitely it helps to get the maximum score in the examination. Now, coming to this problem. So, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5, how to do it here? So, first one you when you are going to simplify it, you will this is called a, a continued fractions. Continued, so, first you have to simplify this one 4 plus 1 by 5. So, 5 4 is a 20. 20 plus 1 21. So, 4 plus 1 by 5 is simplified as 21 by 5. So, 1 by 21 by 5. So, it will be as 5 by 20, 5 by 21. Okay. So, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 5 by 21. Again, 21 3 is a 63 plus 5, 68 by 21. Again, it is 1 by 68 by 21, 21 by 68. 68 2 is a 136 plus 21 means here 157, 1 by 57 by 68. So, it becomes as 68 by 157, option B is correct, which is the largest among uh, the 5 by 8, 2 by 3, 7 by 9, 3 by 5. So, convert each fraction into decimal part means divide the numerator by denominator. So, when you divide 5 by 8, so when 5 with 8 you will get 0 0.62, 2 by 3 equal to 0 0.66, 7 by 9 is 0 0.77 and 3 by 5 is 0 0.66. Among all this 7 by 9 which is equal to 0 0.77 is the greatest one. Is it clear? So, that is 8 minus 8 into 2 into 1, 2 and 1 by 5 minus 1 and 2 by 7 by 2 minus 1 by 6 minus 1 by 6. So, already I said you have to simplify each fraction here 2 and 1 by 5 is 11, min, 11 by 5 correct and 1 and 2 by 7 is 9 by 7 and 6 minus 1 by 6 is 35 by 6. So, like you have to simplify then, now we have to simplify the denominator, this 1 by 35 by 6 is 6 by 35, 35 2 is 70 minus 6 64, 64 by 
35, this is 32 by 35, 35, 35 get cancelled, which is uh, called 32 by 64, you can say 31, 32, 1, 2, so simply 18 to 1 by 2, which is equal to 4. In this manner, you will get, so the finally, the last one, the Eiffel Tower is one fifth part is painted with branch, one fourth of the remainder part is painted maroon and the rest of the Eiffel Tower has golden color. If the height of the e, this golden color part is 450 meters, what is the e, Eiffel Tower's height? So, the Eiffel Tower B, for example, it is 100 meters, then one fifth of the 100 is how much? 20 meters. So, 20 meters is branch. Okay, one fourth of the remaining means here 100, so 20 is a branch, 20 minus 100 minus 20 is 80, one fourth of it means here one fourth of 80 is 20, so 20 meters is maroon, the rest is means 20, 20 meters is branch and 20 meters is maroon, total is 100, 100 minus 20, 20 that is 40, 100 minus 40 is 60, 60 meters is golden, for, means I am taking for 100, means 60 meters are golden part for 100 meters, there are 450 meters then how much, simply you can calculate like a ratio means here say 60 by 100, 60 by 450 is equal 100 by x, then x is equal to simply you can say as a, so after simplification you will get 750 meters. So, in this manner the questions will come in the examination covering all branches of mathematics. So, do not feel fraction means only uh, improper fraction, proper fraction or mixed fraction, it covers the ratios, proportions, everything. So, practice all the chapters as an integrated, then definitely you will get the maximum marks. I hope so, you understand this fraction part and each and everyone will perform well in the examination. Namaste.